Hey, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, this is Sakeller here with the final video for my Immortal Joe Mad Max Fallout 4 build over at the Citadel Crooptop Manor. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, they house, they show the outside of everything. But today we're going inside the mansion. Um, so we go on in. Overboss. Front door. This is just kind of like the wreck area where everyone just kind of hangs out. Here, this, you know, nothing too, nothing too detailed in here. This was going to be the kitchen. You know, I have my little robot making everything. And uh, this, eventually I wanted to put a door on here, but I never did. This was my like purification green room to kind of make the citadel a little bit more viable. Because it does have, it does have a green room in, in the movie, so... I did give it a green room, so he's got all his, you know, plants and everything growing and keeping everything nice and cool and oxidized and stuff you need for bio plants to grow. But yeah, no. So I'm really, ha I like this room. It's pretty cool. It looks really cool at night because of these uh, fog condensers. Yeah, so that's that's that room, the kitchen. And then we go upstairs. Respect around uh, here. Hopefully. Um, come on. Okay, we go downstairs. Yay, downstairs. There's nothing down here, except for that door that leads to a room that's not part of the thing, and you can't get into. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside. And then we're gonna go up through here, through the garage, because smart for me, I made a second entrance. Haha. -ha. So this is the uh, crew quarters where everyone kind of lives and sleeps. So you know, I got the Christmas tree, keeping spirits high. Beds. Then, you know, the kind of crappy. Nothing really too nice. Just kind of all thrown in here. Again, I didn't finish this, but. It's not gonna get finished. And over here, you get the bathroom with the shower. And it's a good view, except for when you know people are down there. I thought about making a joke and having like a bunch of chairs lined up down there. So like when you were walking outside, it's like, why are there a bunch of chairs here? But then it'd be more clear when like the shower is right here. <laughs> there's, a, there's just a bunch of chairs there for people to watch. I just thought that would be kind of funny. But again, I, d I didn't finish it. It was just one of the ideas I had. That's why the shower is in the middle of the uh, the open like that. Anywho. We're going to go up to the creme de la creme. This is Immortal Joe's area. And uh, the door... Oh, crap. The door's, the door's open. Don't look. Nobody look. Nobody look. Ruined it. I'm not gonna refilm this because I'm lazy. Okay, yeah. That's like that. Okay, didn't happen. So now we're gonna go upstairs and look at the cool uh, creme de la creme area where Immortal Joe lives, and and he's got his his breeding wives. So you got this crazy awesome mega security door, and this is kind of like all his main uh, bodyguards. So you got you know surveillance stuff here. You know, his personal uh, guards. And, and then this door, which you need access from this person to open. They open it, and you come on in. And Immortal Joe, you know, he's like really sickly and dying and everything in the movie. So, ta-da, ta-da. He's got a bunch of stuff for life support. And like a scientist guy keeping him alive. He's not doing too good. Um, he's got his bed, all this stuff to help keep him alive, because he's doing pretty bad. And over here, he's got the last kind of remnants that you can kind of see of, like, before he was really sickly, you know, like, he's got, like, it used to be kind of like a nice room, you know, decked out with a bunch of stuff, but just all the medical stuff's really starting to take it over. And, you know, like, his old past stuff's not really prevalent anymore. It's all life support. So that was my little surprise in there. And this is the, the wives' room. So you gotta open it up. 
This is where he keeps his top people or breeding wives, his slave. I mean, come on, it's a nice place. It's not that bad of a gig, really. Look at this. You got the fancy carpet, the chairs, the radio that I'm going to get copyrighted for because, no, I'm kidding. Nobody watches my videos. I'm not going to get copyrighted. Um, now, you might be thinking, oh, well, but, but Sakeller, this door is like blocking all that stuff and probably clipping into it. Well, it's not. Shit. Don't look at that. Besides that drawer right there, it's not. I made everything, so it's not. But that. anywho, we're gonna close that. <laughs> it closed really fast, actually. I forgot that. But yeah, no. Oh, I don't know why there's a person up there, but there's a person up there. But anyway, yeah. So this is where he keeps his wives. I was gonna put two people in here, and uh, I made a bath. I made a hot tub. Like what? Come on, it's so cool. It's a hot tub with benches. Like, come on. Uh, it's, and it's got a towel. Because there's a tub. There's a, there's a hot tub in the movie. So, I don't know if it's a hot tub, but there's like a big like pool of water in the movie in their um, cell. So, you know, they got the fancy bed. Um, there's some artwork that they've done. And, you know, unfortunately, they do have a, you know, they have a view strategically. Uh, of the prisoners to be like, hey, that that could be your life, you know. It's it's the subtle mind games, like, hey, that could be your life. This isn't a bad prison, you know. You're fine. That's a prison. That could be you, you know. Type thing, you know. It's all mental manipulation, you know, to keep them in line. And then they got the bathroom with the nice little thing here to do their makeup and go to the bathroom, toilet paper, you know. Positive reinforcement and then the curtains are here because obviously two people would have lived in here and the curtains were there So they could you know curtain it off when they were in the bathroom and Then it's got the um, you no know, the bird cage type thing going on like it did in the movie But yeah, so that is the end of the Citadel um, I hope you guys liked it um, to the three or seven people that watch, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but again, I, I made these videos mainly because I, I love I love building stuff in Fallout 4, and um, I just kind of want it to have these videos up online for when I delete Fallout 4 from my PlayStation because it takes up so much space on my hard drive, <laughs> and I want to play other games. But yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have a couple more build videos I'm going to put up, and that's going to be the end of it um, for my videos. I hope you enjoyed uh, my Mad Max style, style builds with the Citadel, Gastown, and the Bullet Farm. They were a lot of fun, um, and uh, thanks for watching.